Hey, what's up guys? Mikas here for WeMakeDanceMusic.com. For episode 50 of our Electronic Music Jam sessions, we have a special guest that is right there that we'll put to just after I introduce him. It's Hypersia. He's a really amazing producer who produces tracks who get released on amazing label. He produces mainly uplifting trance in FL Studio and is taking one of his latest tracks which actually get a release out onto a very good label and he show it off to us like showing all the parts and really explain what is happening so I will leave it to Hypersha the template's online too if you want to check it check below the video hope you guys enjoy and since I'm not going to be here at the end may the sounds be with you Hey guys, what's up? This is Hypersha this is a special episode of Music Jam with WomenDanceMusic.com I'm here to show you one of my latest track I did uh, in Big Room Trance genre in Philip Stadio. The track is released as a main theme or main anthem of a label. So I'm here to show you the layers, the scenes, and other things I use in this project. So stay tuned with me. I will show you all things I use in this project. See you soon. And I want to show you the f a little preview of a track first, and then we're going to the layers and details. Because the CPU problem, I try to turn off some layers and uh, I get uh, export uh, the wave file, for example, this bass line, these black sounds. Okay, let me show you the first 33 bars here, which is the first minute of a track. The first layer is a main kick or a kick, kick drum of the track. Let me open the kick for you. First, in a step sequence, we have a kick two and a kick one, which is a main kick. The kick two is an intro kick. It's the same sample of a main kick here, but as you can see here, there is some difference uh, in a waveform of these samples. They are same sample, but there is some difference from main kick and the intro kick here. The intro kick sounds like this, very uh, small and kind of uh, filtered sounds. And the main kick is banging big drum kick. Yeah, with a massive uh, sub bass uh, into it, this uh, sample. So. What is the difference and what comes uh, how I made this uh, massive kick to this tiny little uh, baby here? Uh, the trick is so simple, I'm sure a lot of you know about it. If you're using uh, Future Loops or FL Stadio, there is a section here in and out for uh, like cutting off or um, changing the waveform of a sample uh, in this uh, short uh, structure for it's in the sample in the full studio. Uh, in in section you can edit the intro, the introduction of the waveform and the out is a, just uh, you can edit the the end part, the, the end part of a sample. So the thing I did is just using this knob yeah, as you can see, the kick was like this and changed this ending part and yeah, that's so tiny right now. So that was a trick. Uh, of course, you could uh, use other things. For example, you, can, you could uh, go to your mixer and use some EQing, for example, Pro Q2, Fab Filter and try low cut of here and your main kick and yeah it, it, it's the same but uh, for me that was a so cool and fast uh, way to have this layer uh, in my project so that was the first one 
So let me show you this kick solo. Okay, the second part, the second sound was a clap. The clap sounds from Avenger Sound, I believe. It's so simple. I'm sure you can find these, these kind of samples in your loop and percussion sam sample banks. So, uh, this is a sample I used, and I tried to manage and control. Uh, the end part of this uh, sample by uh, writing the notes in the piano roll. Uh, that was a clever idea for me uh, because you, you, could, you could change, of course, uh, these knobs again. Uh, but for, for me, that was a cool idea to have these uh, clap sounds in exact timing in the piano roll. In a mixer, I believe I use some EQing, yeah, simple EQing in the mixer, a little bit cut off on the mid range for the sample, clap sample, that was enough thing. And of course, uh, cutting off the low frequency, for example, cutting uh, from at least uh, cutting all thing below 50 frequency, 50 hertz. So the third one is a ride. It's so important to have a good and wide sample of a ride sound in your track, uh, especially in the background trance, which is uh, so that the, the whole track is uh, kind of empty and you have to fill the uh, small sort of a track with uh, massive wide samples, for example, wide rides, a good uh, crash, reverse crash, and massive wide bass lines. So that was a good uh, sample I used. Now that's a clap. This is a ride. Another good sample. It's so simple. And a little bit of EQing here. And as uh, in this section, we're going to the main, uh, the first uh, drop of a track, uh, the intro drop. Uh, like other genre in the EDM, especially in trance, uh, we need uh, some lifters or uplifters and drum rolls, snare rolls. Uh, to feel the atmosphere of a track before the drop, the release section. So I use some samples, simple samples from Vinges Banks. Uh, the first one is a kick roll. The other one is a clap, low, clap roll. And put these layers in a separated uh, Mixer channel, changing the frequencies and boosting or cut off uh, some frequencies in the EQing. Uh, and finally, I used some little snares and uh, field drums uh, only seconds before going to the first part of a drop. So I named this sample Big Snare and try to use this sample two times yeah and this clap roll here see that sounds so cool the other layers just simple effects here I'm sure you know about using some effects, for example, reverse effects, reverse crash, crashes, and other things. I don't want to go to details of these uh, layers, as uh, managing and controlling these uh, controlling these samples is so simple. Uh, I'm sure you can find uh, these samples in your banks and sample banks. The first one is a reverse crash, for example. Just put some 
a simple uh, sidechain on it from Kickstart, my favorite uh, sidechain plugin here on the Q-Link, uh, cutting a low frequency and same for the crash. And I named this sample reverb clap. Yeah, same process in a mix down and uh, copy this sample and reverse it here. Uh, yeah, that's that's so simple, simple uh, things to fill in your atmosphere in the track. But the main, the main things, the main sample, the main uh, sounds uh, getting to start here. The first one is a bass line. Bass lines comes from three separated layers that uh, I named based on one, two, and three. And as you can see here, uh, there is uh, four different uh, four different autom automation on the layers. Uh, for example, cutting the low frequencies and um, controlling the side chaining and other things i will show you the old things i use here uh, in the next part of a tracks track uh, the first uh, baseline comes from yeah spire as i told you before uh, i turned off some layers because of cpu problems so i will turn off turn on these layers here uh, the first one is baseline uh, one uh i copied a clown uh the same sound the same channel uh, to other channel and uh it's a simple trick to have a more stereo sounds so, uh pan uh i try to uh have a, a fully left side sound and the fuller right sound uh sound so uh, that uh, could help you to have a more wide sound your final mix down so yeah the, the first bass line the right sound and the left sound it's not uh, it, it, this sound is not very complicated it's just a simple uh, wave uh, wave sound uh, I use three oscillator of a spire and in a mix down you can see I use LFO the LFO the reason I use is just for the having mm, the triplet sounds uh, in the next part of a track I will show you the triplet sound uh, but uh, I I attach this uh, channels to the main channel of a baseline which is uh, baseline master and and you can see here i use equalizer for eqing limiter for controlling the picks in the baseline side chaining for side chaining i, I always using nikki romero to kick start and fruity filter for filtering and lfo tool as i told you for uh, triplet sounds and again a five for the per q4 uh, cutting off the high frequency uh, to fading out the sounds when i'm going to, to the sounds going to the breakdown or something like this so yeah that was an old process in the bass lines the first bass line was uh like this and the second one is uh, again i use two layers in the right and left for a more stereo and wide sound the second bass line sounds like this let me show you in the mixer bass line two more brighter sound maybe again from spire and the third one again from spa and sounds like this no that was a bass two sorry this is the bass three yeah more delay and reverb on the third bass line for having more atmosphere in your track so let me sh turn off these sounds again because it's a CPU problem and again I will play all these sounds together for you. 
Yeah, the next sound is plaque, the main plaque, I named the main plaque. The main plaque comes from Spire again and sounds like this. It's just a, a simple uh, detuned trancy sound uh, with some delay and reverb. Let me show you each oscillator separately. For example, the first one sounds like this. The second one. The third one. And the last oscillator sounds. like this just a simple uh, noise sound all things together with massive cutoff yeah that sounds so uh, big room big room sound okay let me turn it off here and play the waveform with all uh, automation here another sound for example the atmosphere sound it's just simple yeah that's a vocal sound, uh, downlifters and uplifters. Yeah. Other effects in the track, and here it is. Okay, guys, uh, after first uh, first drop in the intro, which is sounds like this. can see here the main kick playing right here and clap on rights comes with this black sound so dark and epic sound look at the automation here and then the break then it starts let me explain you the sounds I use in the breakdown, the break section, the track. The first one, absolutely, we're going to uh, the main melody here. Uh, for example, I, I want to open this pad here. It's so simple, simple writing uh, in melody. Just only one chord, which is A minor. I turned off or removed the middle note which is sol or g uh, of the chord and use the harmonic notes in the top line in the top octaves uh, of the scale which is e minor uh, the other sounds are these sounds the first one is this. Uh, I try to uh, find some good sample, dark sample, as the name of the track is This is the Anarchy, and the project, the whole track, uh, is uh, about uh, anarchy. The, the, uh, the chaos, you know. So these sounds really help me to have this atmosphere in the track. Uh, 
Yeah, he pulled out a gun. Huh? He did? Yes, the Hells Angels took the gun away from him. One of them has it now, he showed it to me. A simple and, uh, reverb, he, uh, I use art acoustic reverb, EQing, and, and side chaining, and of course, low filtering here with filter loops, filter plugging. Other sound is uh, like this, like a walkie talkie, you know? I name another sample police effects uh, with the simple volume control automation. Same process in the mixer, reverb, EQ, and filtering, side chaining. All these together. Try to keep them alive, and uh, when we got here, the doctor checked them out. And we pronounced them dead. With the saw pad, saw pad comes from sign of one, simple south sign sound, volume control automation, and the pad with the automation control, the cutoff. Yeah, that's the only thing I use in um, breakdown. Then the other sounds, like uh, this plug, main plug sound, this uh, other plug sound. Plug 2. Plug 2 comes from Spire, I guess, again. Yeah, Spire. Let me turn on the step side console here for you. The rhythm is so important, this kind of style because you want to introduce the epic sounds so you have to write it write uh, rhythm for your lead sound so it sounds like this EQ, picking control, reverb, delay with each edge delay and the wave uh, plugins and other process in the plugin here in the plug sound. Right comes and all lifters comes here. For the main drop, they're going to main drop here. Another sample is uh, here. I named it Countdown sample. I download downloaded this sample on the internet. It's very easy to have these samples in your project because I know I'm sure you can find this sample on the internet these days. Uh, Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. This is an original sample, and I edited uh, this sample with cutting some uh, simple waveforms and uh, giving to uh, this sample a little bit of reverb, delay, you know, and EQ, low frequency cutoff. Gain these snares. But I think it's uh, so different uh, in the main uh, drop. I changed the rhythm of the bass line. These basses are the same, but the rhythm is changed. And yeah, here is the plug sounds again. The plug sounds, same as a break with effects. But uh, I wanted to fill the gap between each 
rhythm the main plug in the drop section with the bass lines but not the exact rhythm in the intro the bass lines with a different uh, rhythm which is this The second break is starting. Try to use a cinematic drum here because the track is epic and dark. And again, going to the build up, but another massive drop section here. But the drop here is kind of different. Yeah, this is a triplet sound, the triplet drop here. Uh, you could use triplet rhythm in the piano roll and writing uh, the rhythm and the triplet rhythm for uh, other sounds, for example, the bass lines, the blacks, but uh, I try to use another trick, which is faster and easier uh, for this part of a track. As I told you before, I guess uh, I told you, I uh, try to use the LFO. The LFO has a preset here called triplet, the 60 triplet. I use this simple preset from LFO and I put the LFO plugin in other layers, for example, the all three bass lines and the plugs, plug two, main plug, plug three, and uh, I turn on the LFO exactly the moment the second break is starting to play. Listen to the drop here again. The LFO tool getting to start to rise up here. This is the moment. Yeah, that was that was a cool preview of this project for you. I will put this project to WeMakeDanceMusic.com as an exclusive uh, template for you, for you guys. Uh, uh, you can find this template in my profile WeMakeDanceMusic.com. Uh, my profile is Hypersia, and I hope you liked what I did in the project. And if you like this kind of sounds. Uh, please let me know. I'm sure I can uh, produce this kind of tracks maybe from the scratch for you as ex another exclusive template uh, for this massive website. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for upcoming.